I'm removing the master cylinder and the brake booster. From what I can tell, so far, there are four bolts that go behind, uh, in the middle of that plate there, two there, two on the other side, uh, right behind the brake pedal. Four nuts in place here. And then there's also the retaining, uh, the cotter pin on the brake pedal right there. Pull that, uh, and then you can pull the lever off. It's because the brake pedal appears to be attached to the whole clutch pedal assembly. So you want to take it off that plunger. Now, I very carefully pushed that push rod in uh, out the firewall because it belongs to the brake booster and I have not taken the master cylinder off and with these metal lines you risk crimping them and damaging them and that's really bad for your brake system. Um, I disconnected the hose from the brake booster uh, up to the engine side so it gave me a little, little more leeway pushing this out of the way and again I can't even stress enough how careful you should be yeah, uh, you really should take the master cylinder off, but I'm doing this without that, seeing if it'll, if I can get it to work. Remove the cap. I took a syringe and uh, drained all the fluid out of it. Then, well, the lines are 10 millimeters, so clean them off really well so there's no chance of slipping uh, with the wrench and rounding off the, the nuts. And then 10 millimeter removed them. And I also had to remove my, my old alarm siren to get, so the brake booster would clear, but it should pull right out. Oh yes, and also disconnect the, the electrical connector. Then install the brake booster and, of course, you know, bleed the brakes properly after you connect everything. Everything's reinstalled. The brake, the boost, brake booster is reconnected to the brake pedal. Bolts are in place. So I reinstalled the brake booster while I was there. I cleaned it up a bit. The brake master cylinder. Reconnected. Filled it up with fluid. I'm about to start bleeding the brakes. And should be good to go.